Children are not textbooks. You can't learn this stuff out of a textbook, and a doll is not the same. We engage the Clarkson community to, for volunteers to bring in children of various ages to allow the students um, in the freshman DPT class to look at children's developmental um, writing reactions, their developmental reflexes, as well as the developmental sequence. I'm going to take you and lay you on your back up here, okay? Oh, I got a smile out of you. The Morrow test is the one where she had the baby's head and then dropped it towards the ground where the arms came out. So that's like a surprise reaction where the arms will kind of shoot out in surprise and the legs will tense up too. So we look for all those things and we have it all on this list to look out for. There's different age periods that these different uh, reflexes will come, will go. So we're really looking to see if they still had them at the ages they were at, if they integrated, which means they just kind of went and sometimes uh, they persist through the whole life so you want to see that. Yeah so they're, they're mainly to look at the developmental progress of a child and it's not it's not to be alarmed if they're a little behind or if they're too ahead of certain things. It doesn't mean the child isn't developing right but it, do, it does come into play if it is lagging by quite a bit and so then we can start to look into why why that is happening and if, if it had something to do with their their physical abilities, why they can't do certain reflexes. So. It helps us learn. A lot of us physical therapy students are actually very visual learners, so we, it, it does help us to, to learn by watching someone do something or actually performing it on somebody else. But this soon in the program, it's really cool to actually get to see hands-on, even, even if we're not actually touching, we can actually watch and get, observe real, real patients. So it is really a very good experience to be able to do that. And,